I mean, I'll tell you now, you look at Ukraine, the, yeah. the, the situation in Ukraine was completely, I believe it's completely NATO's fault. They, they knew what they were doing. They kept yes. prodding Russia. They kept poking the bear. They kept poking the bear. They kept poking the bear. And now that Russia is finally retaliated, which it had no choice but to do with its, its own self-interest, right? He had to eventually do something. It has been going on a long time. He eventually retaliated. I'm very, very glad NATO hasn't stepped in. Of course, I don't want war, World War III, but we're just sending loads and loads of weapons to delay the inevitable, just to cause more casualties and more, more pain for both sides, more headaches for Russia. You think the Americans give a shit Ukraine could just roll over, give up what they give up what Russia wants and just end all of it. Right. But because yeah. that's what's going to happen in the end. But no, we want to make sure that Russia loses as much money, time and money and men as possible. Who cares if a million Ukrainian civilians die? Let's keep sending javelin missiles and let's control the media narrative. If you scroll through Twitter, the media narrative they're purporting is that if you make Molotov cocktails, you can take out Russian tanks. You're going to get annihilated. Like it's, it's, it's literally they're, they're, they're convincing men, people to commit suicide. It doesn't matter because that just puts up the civilian casualties, adds to the narrative they need to make Russia the bad guy. And the worst thing about all of this, we made all these sanctions, these unprecedented sanctions against Russia. And now we're suffering mass inflation and fuel crises. And the rubles are all time high. Have you seen that? The I rubles have seen bounced. This, but it I think crashed. Economically, and that was all time high. Well, what's the point? E- economically, or in, in, in as geopolitical power play. Putin has played a, a blinder by by charging for Russian oil in in rubles. <laughs> you know, You're he's right. undermined the petrodollar, the very thing that the, the one grip that America had over the world, that it had the kind of the global reserve currency. And Putin's taken yeah. it away from them. It, 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 and they, they handed him that that gold, didn't they? I mean, they didn't need to do that. They didn't need to have these. Completely. That's it. They literally handed him the way out. And if, if people think Russia is the only country is going to do this, then they're, they're sadly mistaken. Because what America has shown is if you don't agree with everything we want geopolitically, that your sovereign debt is no longer safe. And there's a whole bunch of countries in the world, China being the next one, who are taking a long, hard look at that going, OK, well, if we're not safe to have dollar debt, then we're not going to do it. Yeah. And then America's in big trouble. I mean, empires never last long. Right. I think we all know about the cycle of empires. Yeah. And I yeah. think if you look at the yeah, you look at the cycle of empires, you look at how Rome fell. The American empire as it is, is pretty much near the end. It, it's kind of crazy how, I mean, Americans can't get along about anything. I'll give an example, right? I was in Dubai recently. I love Dubai. I think it's a, it's a safe place. There's people from all around the world who go there. You can walk the streets at night with a million dollar watch. You have nothing to worry about. And because there's none of this political division, the leader of Dubai is focused on building Dubai into the best city he can imagine it to be. Whereas if you look in the West to our political systems, we're so busy fighting each other, infighting, corruption this, corruption that. It's just crazy. If you look at the American political system, how much time, money, and effort is wasted just fighting against each other? Before, before they worry about their geopolitical enemies on the outside, before they worry about enhancing the lives of normal Americans, the Senate is just constantly out for itself. It's, and, and I'm not saying that democracy is a bad thing. I'm just saying the current democratic systems we have, at least in the West, have just eroded to the point now where they're it's a joke. Not, it's not they're democracy. Not it's something else. It, it's it's they call it representative democracy. It's not. I mean, like so, every four years you get to vote in a, a new bunch of crooks who are the same as the old bunch of crooks, and 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 suddenly they're in charge, and you don't get any vote anymore. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, it's completely true. And 